I'm back again with a couple modifications to the RFID smart card reader. I've added four buttons and a serial port. This has got the basic stamp 2 PX microcontroller in it again and I bought it a long time ago so that's back when they used the old USB to RS-232 adapter so it is USB capable as long as you plug in this serial adapter. The future versions of this will just have normal USB because this is integrated into that prop plug. So it still has the same features of reading the smart card and the RFID chips but there's a couple software features that are enhanced with these buttons now to add a little bit more functionality to it. The first thing that we can do is in the basic stamp EEPROM itself we can uh, save cards now so if you hold, press and hold the first button down and then take a, a fob and read it it's going to save that tag into EEPROM um, and it it can hold about 25 tags and it keeps track of them in order but it doesn't check for doubles so you could take this one tag and put it in 25 times if you want and fill it up. <clears throat> the other thing we can do is we can actually take all of the tags stored in EEPROM and write it to a smart card so instead of just displaying the contents of it we press and hold the second button and insert the card like that it's going to write everything from EEPROM all those tags into the smart card in order the, as you can see there's obviously more than one in here this one's pretty much loaded up through all my testing and that way it'll actually show you a log of all your RFID cards in order and then here's the blank space that's afterwards the next feature you can do is actually using the Parallax PBASIC program and that serial to USB connection will actually hook it up and get some keyboard input so we can write write directly to this card and also if you don't if you don't need the actual LCD if you're not in the field then it's a little bit easier to to see on a debug terminal it works via normal serial I'm going to show you in the PBASIC interpreter itself but if you had putty or any other command uh, terminal emulator it'll work fine as well so what it pretty much looks like loaded up through here is it will actually tell you, um, boot up, how many cards are stored in EEPROM that it's warming up and it's getting LCD and waiting for input. So this will give you a little bit more options for actually what's going on. Um, again with the RFID cards, you know, it'll, it'll give you a debug, it'll tell you that there's one that's red, what the number was, this and that. And then we can, if we, you know, store it into EEPROM, it'll tell you as well as actually being able to hold the button down when you insert the uh, smart card. This one I'm going to need both hands for. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the third button. Hold that third button down and insert the smart card. So we'll do that real quick. And what this will do is this will say the smart card's inserted and input address in hexadecimal. It's 16 by 16 so just as a test uh, I'll do address BB and then what you know data do you want to write to it in hexadecimal uh, to make it clear we'll just do like 8-8 eight, eight. that might be pretty easy to see and it'll write that and then it'll display the entire array of smart card values in the debug window and also on the LCD like normal but this way we can kind of see it on the PC screen a little bit better I wrote to address BB the value of 8-8 eight, eight, so we'll see if that comes up BB is pretty far away I'm pretty sure I didn't use any RFID cards in that space because you'll see the F start coming up and uh, there it is B B we've got 8 8 written instead of FF there was another one of my previous tests on DD so you can actually write whatever you want with the keyboard on a computer as long as it's connected to this actual terminal and again you don't have to use the P basic I'll show you real quick um, if you don't want to use that language it's important to kind of want to use it. I don't like running Windows myself, but um, I also include another little PBASIC program to erase the EEPROM. So when you do fill it up, you can erase it and reset it back to zero. But again, PuTTY is another popular one. Serial interface, I know mine's COM5 and 19200 baud. So we'll be able to open that up. And then there's your normal PuTTY. And it, again, it tells you, you know, what what's going on just like before tags red and uh, let me make sure that 
it looks all right with that third button because actually I didn't test that the first time around. But we'll hold that third button, and sure enough, it comes up. Asks us if we want to write to an address. Do the last one. Do zero zero. I didn't get my carriage return line feeds completely correct, so I'll have to remember that before I put out the release of the last code. See, it's just rewriting over that one. But that's just because I didn't do line feeds. And it's kind of cool that that actually happened because I wrote to the last address, so we'll still be able to view that. It's not going to overwrite. But I'll have that fixed for sure by the release time. But just showing you can write to the, the smart card now, and you can also dynamically in the field write RFID tags that you pick up from the smart card. Or I'm, I'm sorry, from RFID to the smart card. So there's the update of the system. I hope uh, you guys are a little happy that some right features are on there. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And hopefully I'll be able to start selling these guys. They're a bit more expensive to build than I thought because I need the top of the line high end basic stamp due to the actual EEPROM and the scratch pad RAM usage. But um, if anyone's interested in that, I'll put them up on the website. Again, thanks for watching.